his way onto the field here at historic Bobby Dodd Stadium on an absolutely perfect day on the flats for the annual. Time at Texas a &M. Everybody knows who they are now, and there is an expectation for these guys to get for someone else to prove that they should have your job. Aiden Burke kicks off, and it'll be a fair catch for every kickoff today on special teams as Christian Leary makes the catch. Yeah, he did have 16 interceptions last year, so you want to cut those down. Quickly, the swing pass out to his tailback, Jamal Haynes, and Haynes shows you his versatility. Read what the defense is trying to do to get to him. Haynes looking for a place to run, gets it to the outside and gets big yards. 45 into opposing team's territory. In the gun. Tech bringing some pressure. They bring five, but it's picked up over the middle. Nice one-handed catch and a big hit. Now that's not something you see. Number 35, Jacob Cruz coming in on the blitz that allowed Haynes King the extra time that he needed to find his receiver down the field where to pick up those blitzing linebackers. Off the edge, King, nice job finding his receiver. That's Eric Singleton, freshman. Eighth play of this drive to open up this white and gold game. Nice move by Haynes, and he'll score. I would say number 11 in white is carrying 75 yards and six and a half minutes off the clock. Finished off with Jamal Haynes. As Team Swarm takes the opening kickoff and marches down the field, mixing in passing and running and putting it in the end zone. And coaches can't really coach up. They have to experience it and see them pull through it. So now Zach Pyron, he's chased out of the pocket on the run. That's a nice throw. It hits his receiver, loses the ball out of bounds. And they gave him a first down on that one. So it'll be first down. Pyron's going to run it. Eifert gives chase and they blow it dead. That's something you'll see in the spring game too is they have a good, good feel for each other. Now he's getting it with some of these other quarterbacks. And Pyron has chased out of the pocket. Thought he might be throwing it away, but he finds a receiver downfield. That's a target to throw to. Don't wait for the football. Remember, the defense is flowing where the quarterback is flowing, so you have to give him the quarterback on that yeah, play. Yeah, they need him. Oh, he's a 6'3". He's a big receiver. Pyron keeps it, and they'll blow this one dead. As again, Eford, 44, was given chase and gold. They give the Dickens in the middle. He runs into a solid wall of gold jerseys. Maybe give him a yard. It'll bring up fourth down capability. Let's see what Aiden Burke can do on a 61-yard attempt. He's got enough leg. And he's got it. This team and last year's team from a confidence standpoint coming into the year, knowing you can get it done. Because it's one thing to talk about it, as he said, but it's another thing to have proven it on the field. And now the uh, you know, George O'Leary, that's the type of coach I expect him to be. Those were disciplinarians. King finds a tight end. That'll move the sticks. Haynes has a big hole to run through. Picked up about six. We'll get a look. King to pass. He's flushed out of the pocket. Throws down field ball. Tipped and intercepted. That here. Well, he brings pressure. He doesn't sit back. He allows his guys to be special on the football field. They get up the field. They pressure offenses. You saw last year, they gave that Florida State high-powered offense. Team pounds is like throwing a deck chair off the Titanic for Horace <laughs> Lockett. It was 340 pounds last year. Nice job defensively knocking the ball away. Warren Burrell, 41 yards. Puts a leg into it and misses it wide right. No good. Singleton on the receiving end on that strike. That'll be a first down. Those throws in for the tackles. You want to keep the width, so you have to keep that outside shoulder back. Don't give up a short corner to those defensive ends. King quickly to the outside. Because it allows for those guys to be great because no one knows who's going to be that guy. They're continuing to compete. Rutherford makes the catch out. Third down and four. As a receiver wide open, that's Rutherford again. Cuts it back inside, brings it down about get it there because I've gotten it there before. Now the option, quick pitch out. Nice move by his running back. Check that, that's Singleton out. He's never phased. You always felt like you had a chance, I think, if you're a Tech fan with him in the ball game. And I think people have to remember, too, he comes from Texas. Uh, Texas high school. On the catch, tight end is an area that they really need a lot of help with, and they got a couple of transfers in Godey 
And in uh, this Jackson Hawes from Yale, we'll see him having to replace him. Very productive back in his years here on the flats. That ball is loose. Picked up by the defense. And then they'll blow it dead, but I think... Offensive line, the guards have to do a better job of sitting down, especially when you open up those hips to pull. This time King keeps it, gets it out to Rutherford. Makes one man miss and gets into the end zone. Well, Kari Chi won't be very happy with himself that he let Rutherford escape. He's jumping out to a 14-3 lead. Rutherford, getting the ball in space, let him make something happen. Something shaking up a little bit down there at the five-yard line. Burr with the PAT, splits the upright. Where they go, what team has a need, what team trades up to get that quarterback that they think is going to be their future. You Most look interesting one steps on the field, but quarterback heavy. You know, it's such a big decision when you look. I went through that when I played at Florida State University, and they had us on what was called a blue plate diet, where you would get white rice with a pat of butter. You'd get boiled chicken or baked chicken. They even gave you the butter. <laughs> Byron now facing another third down. Goes downfield, has a receiver, just overshoots Chase Lane. First time we've seen seven in white today, Chase Lane. He Here's Burr again with another bomb. This one from 59 yards. And he missed it left, although he did have the leg on it. Option to wear number eight as a lineman. I mean, think about that. It's like, I mean. That's more of the defensive line guys yeah, trying to be cute. Those are the guys that tired. Trying to be cute. He refers to a defensive lineman as trying to be cute. Yeah, we don't do all that. Philo on the run, showing his athleticism for this Georgia Tech Yellow Jacket team, and we're getting a good eye at Philo here. Dickens on the carry. Runs to a big hole. He'll pick up the first down. Philo to throw. Has time over the middle. This is going to be a big play by Taylor. All the way inside the five. So after the big game, they move the team back. This is receiver one hand and catch the beautiful catch at that by Stockton. Gets dropped at the five. Here for Philo to try and get it into the end zone. Play fake over the top. Touchdown. That's that big 6-3 frame we talked about earlier with Jenna. And you see where Philo put the ball. Stewart for the try. And it's good. So record. Let's see what Pyron is going to do here with the clock ticking down. Quick one to Goaty. That's the Gronk factor right there all over the place, right? That's why you can never cover him. That's why he was always Tom Brady's favorite receiver. Pyron now out of the pocket, going to throw deep. Has a man down there and makes the catch, and that's going to be... Got lost behind the defense. Ball hit the pylon, but they're going to mark him out of bounds. The official called him out. I thought he reached yeah. over and got the ball over the pylon or Watch against it. the pylon before he went out of bounds. Look at his legs going out of bounds. Yeah. Rule of thumb is do not allow anyone to get behind you from a defensive standpoint. That is Cooley out of the backfield, wide open. And that'll be enough to move the sticks. Have some defensive player looking and covering that up. Pyron has a receiver open downfield. Makes the connection inside. Well, that's what you want to do as a quarterback. Put a little air under the football. Pyron to throw again. Has time over the middle. Has a receiver open. Hits him inside the 10. And this is Elko now in the red zone. Pyron over the top. Behind his receiver. Defended third down and goal. Pyron again to throw. Has him in the corner this time. He and Blackburn. And swarm on top. Leo Blackburn is back. Number one in white on the receiving end of the Zach Pyron pitch. Ashton Paradis, freshman from Centerville, Georgia, in for the PAT. He'll bring us like more, more experience on the field and just setting up guys to make plays. That's what we all trying to do to make, make plays and just get 1% better every day. And I feel like that's something. And the ability to play inside and outside, which makes him such a valuable player to this defense because he's interchangeable. And you could go to different formations and not have to. We're getting some good run today. Made that, that last catch. It's Brody Rhodes 
He's now showing his athleticism at that quarterback spot. Still on his feet before he gets touched down. Brody. Rhodes to the corner of the end zone. Incomplete. Covered really well that time. Coaching staff talked about him and how he's one of the more improved players on this defense from the beginning of spring practice until now. Probably had that little man complex to say, hey, I've got to show out and make that play every time I'm on the field. Rhodes to the end zone. That one's intercepted. Warren Burrell. And he continues his impressive spring with the INT. And like Shelly on the play before, he fights through, he locates the football, he does a good job of this year. You might have to move some pieces around to make sure you get the top five guys on the field at any one time. How tough is that for an offensive lineman? Oh, no, it's tough for sure because you always got to. Tana Alo Tupuola, who is really their center of the future. I mean, they've got Weston Franklin, who Coach Kemis and Riggs could start the year at left tackle. The future's bright for these young offensive linemen, and I think it's kind of rare. As you see Blackburn on the receiving end here, rare. It's been too much of an adjustment. You know, we just got to adapt. You know, it's, it's definitely a much more defined defense. So, I mean, they'll stop the run, so that's, that's what we're going to do. See those plays, those highlight plays right there. So, fourth down for Graham Knowles. He's going to go to the end zone, trying to get it to lane again. Nice catch. Did he get a foot in? No. no. Philo continues to guide the offense. Got one-on-one -on -one coverage to the end zone. Touchdown catch made by... 22 yards and the redshirt freshman. Well, he's one of those skill position players on offense We thought we might see a little bit of today and we're seeing a lot more of them today and there's nothing else Stewart converts to PAT America last year part of this deep receiving core that Georgia Tech has coming into this year and a lot of weapons for Haynes King and company on the receiving end and one of the more difficult routes to cover Third down and one. Alexander will pick it up, move the sticks. Alexander carries the football. Job. He's getting a lot of playing time today. That's a nice strike completion to Jinnung. Guys in the middle of that defense, they kind of be stout at the point of attack. It allows them to move Scott around more. Carry with a nice job after the catch to elude the defender. Body and they're already, you know, have a low natural low center of gravity got three flushed out of the pocket so is that one incomplete a lot of pressure in the quarterback's yeah, face Tana at 6 1 3 30 big in the dumper got three has a receiver open and it bounds inside the fifth. Guthrie's the fifth quarterback we've seen today and all five of them have played very well Alexander now Guthrie's going to keep it They'll blow the play dead inside the there's a need you get in that portal and you find that talent you match the talent to what you do and what you're looking for and what their capability is just because a guy was a great linebacker at one program first down just before the goal line as we're inside a minute Guthrie to throw to the corner of the end zone touchdown go right where it needs to be Burr on the try. Burr will kick the gun final 27 24. Team Swarm with the win. What are your final thoughts after what you've seen today? This offense and defense as well. That's going to wrap it up for us here in Atlanta for Forrest Conley and our entire crew. I'm Chris Cotter. Thanks for watching, everyone.